will be playing the harpsichord for you today. So today I'm going to uh, talk about two instruments, both of which are violas. Um, one is a modern setup viola, and one is a Baroque setup viola. The harpsichord is different from the modern piano in that the sound is created by a plucking mechanism, whereas on the piano, the mechanism is a hammer hitting the string. So the harpsichord's plucked. It has fewer notes than the piano, but it often has two keyboards, although this instrument only has one. The Baroque viola, compared to the modern viola, is set up to be a lower tension, um, which gives it a little bit softer sound, as do the gut strings. The manner in which we play the instruments are quite a bit different, too. The chin rest, which was developed in about 1820 by Louis Spohr, was uh, non-existent in the Baroque era. I don't have a chin rest on the viola, and I also do not use a shoulder pad, as I do on the modern viola. I love playing the harpsichord because it is sensitive and it is subtle. I've always loved the music of J.S. Bach, and I have come through playing the harpsichord to know of a whole repertoire of music that goes back even earlier than Bach, and it's for that music that I love this instrument. So holding the Baroque viola and playing it, I have less, I hold it mainly, chiefly in the left hand, which changes what I'm able to do with my left hand um, in terms of how I might use vibrato, um, and how easily I can shift. It's not as easy to shift and get around the instrument. So it uh, informs a lot of the choices that uh, I would make, or I do make, when I play Baroque music. 